Hello out there. Today we are taking a look at the Hexagear Governor Parapron Sentinel. This is a little tiny figure model kit meant to go along with the Kotobukiya Hexagear uh, toy line. It has mecha, it has obviously human figures, uh, vehicles, monsters, all kinds of crazy stuff. It's really cool. Of course, the things that I'm interested in are honestly the most mundane of their offerings, but uh, for me, they, they hit my taste. But anyway, it's a really cool line. Check it out. I have recently fallen behind with this. They now have version two of these coming out, which are awesome buys, and I highly recommend. But this is the uh, original version of the soldier. Now, uh, let's look at his head sculpt, which I think is very interesting. It almost gives a sad look. You can see the details of the helmet. It's like an environmental suit. I suppose you could imagine this guy is like a android as well, but I just think it's an interesting sort of uh sort of twist to kind of give him that almost sad and regretful look as though, you know, he he doesn't want to be what he is, but anyway, enough head head cannon point is, this is a very well articulated and very well sculpted figure. This is unpainted, so when you put the model together, it will look exactly like this. The head obviously has a little bit of painting, but everything else is just the plastic sprue color. Um, I'm not very good at model kit making. You can see there's seams, you can see there's little nubs from where I clipped it off of the sprue. I'm sure many of you out there watching could do a much better job. Uh, but just out of the box, you put him together, this is what he'll look like. He does come with a couple accessories. He's got his uh, sort of shotgun-esque weapon here. Um, he also has a shield, which you can build. It has that clip there that goes in the arm. And then also this sort of hammer, sort of a hammer weapon, I guess. I haven't put those together, and I also haven't painted this. But... Uh, we'll see whether or not I ever actually do that. The figure also comes with, of course, an instruction manual, um, which, you know, it shows you your contents, it shows you how to put it together. Uh, there's instructions on how to, how to get them to fit into the various vehicles. Also a sort of, uh, painting guide of what he could look like if you fuse the seams and give him a once over with some paint. Comes with several sets of hands. Um, the ones I have attached to him are the most useful for a gun, but he does have some fists. And he does have some sort of splayed hands with the little Mickey Mouse lines on it. It's kind of funny. And then this little uh, Hexagon here actually plugs into his back. This is what allows sort of the hexa and the hexagear thing to work. It's uh, modular components that all kind of fit together. And this guy came with a bonus. These are a couple pieces that put together. doesn't really have anything to do with the figure, but uh, here, let me demonstrate this for you. So the extra piece that it comes with is a claw and a pretty cool looking industrial claw. If you bring in your mech, your bulk arm, you pop off one of the hands, this will plug right in and now, now he's got a, you know, clamps, for some clamping. One thing that is totally random and has nothing to do with the actual design intent of the of this line is that uh, proportion wise it doesn't match up very well overall because of the tiny legs on these little uh, mega blocks figures but if you get some of these halo or other kind the chest area is actually a pretty good match for the hexagear stuff you know you can kinda of see down to the waist it matches up and what it allows you to do is kind of uh, BS a head swap between the Mega Blocks figures and these figures. So you can imagine if you painted this upright, this could uh, 
this could fit quite well. Uh, proportionally, it works really well. So just something to consider. The weapons and such uh, will, uh, will totally fit. This is loose, but you know you could put some some uh, oh, there you go. You could put some putty or something in there to tighten it up. Anyway, just a random thing that I'm doing by troop building these guys and kind of uh, kitting them out as different things. So just uh, just a random thought. For articulation, the head is on a ball joint um, and easily pops off. There is a butterfly joint for each shoulder as well as it's on a ball joint so you have great range of motion. There's a single joint at the elbow but it has a nice deep bend. The hands attach via ball joint so they can move around. They do pop off uh, pretty easily. He has uh, a ball joint at the waist which allows him to kind of rock around. This middle piece right here is uh, actually soft so it allows for a lot of uh, articulation that you wouldn't otherwise get. But yeah, so that also substitutes a, as a waist joint. Uh, ball joint at the hips. There's not a lot of outward movement, but forward and back are just fine. And again, it has a single hinge joint, but it allows for a deep knee bend. And then the feet are on a, a ball joint that goes down like this, like it's on a stem that goes into the foot. So it has both a uh, you know side to side and an up and down like that. So all together, it allows for a wonderful amount of articulation. I'd be remiss if I didn't show off the box here. Very cool artwork. Shows you uh, painted painted copies. Shows you it interacting with some of the other uh, Hexagear stuff. Again, painted versions. So that is the Hexagear Governor Sentinel. Uh, I think it's a really cool figure. I will say if you can get the 1.5 or the version 2, definitely go for that. It has a, a much more accessories, uh, much more thought goes into it. it, it it's, a really, it's a really cool update. I, I love what they're doing with that. But hopefully also by the time you see this, if you dig it, there will be a bunch of these version 1s that are cheaper because... Uh, you know, who's going to want this when you can have the version 2, which is much superior. Anyway, uh, that's a lot of talking. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks for watching. Take care. Until next time.